Oh my gosh, you guys. Christian Louboutin. Woo! Oh my gosh! Wow. You're still my Glam fam, before we get started, I'm Christy. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us, we're here every Friday and Sunday, and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button. When you comment below, it really does help my videos out. You can follow me on all my socials, Christy Allure, and you can check out my merch, GlamorousLifeCollections.com. All right, let's jump right into this. I am so excited, you guys. You don't even know my love for Christian Louboutin. Like it has been an obsession since the red soul hit the red carpet, I should say. I became obsessed. Something, maybe a fun fact that a lot of you don't know is I literally wouldn't take my high heels off for a good decade. So I have a huge obsession with high heels. I finally got my first pair of Christian Louboutins a few years back. And I just can't even tell you guys how much I love these shoes more than anything in this world. Now, grant you, the heels get very destroyed, so ignore that. But this right here, the reason why I'm showing you is because this little guy right here has the imprint of the sole embedded into this. That's how incredible this powder is. I mean, there just really <laughs> isn't anything more spectacular than seeing something that you love so much embedded into a powder. So it's like combining both of my worlds between high heels and makeup <laughs> and jewelry, I guess everything. So my two greatest passions ever since I was, I could remember my mom and I have been obsessed with Chanel. So Chanel is like my my ultimate, like my huge ultimate. Then it'd be like Louis Vuitton, Christian Louboutin. And my favorite colors ever since I was a child was pink. Okay, that was like, everything was pink about me, obviously, I'm just a very girly girl. And then it became red and then it became black and gold as I got older and white. White is always, pink and white were like my ultimate favorite colors growing up. But I obviously, obviously you guys know how much I love black and gold. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, let's just take a moment for the case that this goes in, which I couldn't afford to get right now. So eventually I will be getting the case. I really wanted to test out the powder and make sure the powder, this was $50, the powder, but the case is 75. Everything with Louboutin Beauty is, it comes in, which is nice because it's refillable, but you have to buy the components separately. And typically that component or the actual packaging is quite expensive. Will I get it? Absolutely, I'm getting it. I will be getting I'm putting it into the universe right now. I'm manifesting this because it's everything I love right there. <laughs> Black, gold, a little bit hints of red and pink. I'm like, it literally was made for me. The crown, I was a pageant girl. Like everything about that case is Christy Allure. <laughs> it's Christy in general. I just love it so much, but I wish I could have bought it together to show you guys on camera, but it's just, it's too expensive right now. But I will get the case because this powder is, we're gonna see how it performs. I only know how it feels and it's like one of the softest powders I've ever seen. So that's what I wanted to know. So it comes like this in the mail. I'll show you the actual packaging up close. So it does come with a little brush, even though it's refillable, which is super nice. So whenever you refill this, I don't think $50 is actually a bad price point for, I mean, luxury, beyond luxury, designer luxury makeup. So I, I really don't. I mean, if you can find the right shade and it's really good, I think it's absolutely worth it. So I did go with 15 NC, which is fair nude. I just felt like on the stock pictures, it just looked, even though it's, you know, cool, I just, cause I'm thinking NC stands for cool, but it looks nice and yellow in person. So I'll show you the up close shots and then I'll show you here in my studio, you can see how embedded those soles are. So that's the shade. I like don't even wanna mess it up because it's just so incredibly unique and beautiful. And I love that it comes in a packaged red box and it's packed so nicely. Let's quickly go over the details. So again, this is a refill. I'm not even going to attempt how to pronounce the French version of this name. It's brand new and it's their 
kind of like a powdered foundation, I wanna say, but it's a little bit lighter than a typical powder foundation. And this is the latest multi-use natural effect face powder from Christian Louboutin. And it's infused with ruby powder for a bright matte finish and buildable coverage. It does even out and warm the complexion at the same time while also setting your makeup. La Padou, I don't know if I said that right, is available in nine shades with a neutral, cool, or warm undertone to suit all skin types. I love how nifty they labeled this. So the Louboutin touch, inspired by the iconic Christian Louboutin monogram and the fusion of its letters, start at the top of letter C, working from the temple and finishing on the cheekbone. To draw the owl, start at the top of the cheekbone and gently follow the contour of the bottom of the face as far as the chin. That was really cute. Not that we're gonna follow that, but I love how they described that. So this is 0.42 ounces. The case, again, is sold separately. It's dermatology tested, non-comedogenic, paraben free, made in Italy. It does have a 24 month shelf life and the ingredients looked really good. There wasn't anything in there that, I mean, there is talk. So if that bothers you, just so you know that, but other than that, no coconut oil and you guys, it's fragrance free. How many designer brands these days come out with products that are fragrance free? I love that. Maybe because Louboutin's not really known for, I don't even know if they have a fragrance. If they do, I'll pop it up right there. And Maybe that's why, maybe a lot of the other companies are known for their fragrances, that's why they put it into their products, but oh gosh, thank you Louboutin for not doing that. I really appreciate that, especially for us girls with sensitive skin. So this is something I would buy over like a Gucci powder that has that's highly fragranted. We are gonna take a puff, and all I have on right now is my Smashbox primers. As always, I have both of these on, just because when I use a powder, I need to make sure I, I go with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream first, and then I use the primerizer, and then I smooth out my skin with this. This is just my holy grail combination. I do have the new, brand new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, if you wanna check out my full review on that if you're new here. I did a full review when this released, so you can check that out. I mixed this with my one size today. Just because when I wear powdered foundation and I'm not wearing foundation, I just want a little bit more coverage, and this combination is unbelievable. So this is 2G from one size, and this is 5 M medium from Charlotte Tilbury. So typically in powders, Powdered foundations, I wear Makeup Forever, I'll put the list on the side right there, but I wear Makeup Forever Y245 is my shade with Makeup Forever, and that's my holy grail powder. One size for all over my face, what we're gonna do, I typically wear either 2N or Fair 5, one of those two depending on, Fair 5 is my win uh, yeah, winter shade and 2N is my summer shade. And then Armani is my other favorite powder ever made and this is in shade four and this is luminous silk i don't talk about this i use this off camera because this is not available anymore and i'm so bummed i hope i hope armani brings this back because it is a fantastic foundation powder like one of the ultimates it's so beautiful and then chanel i'll put my color right there it's in my purse i always keep that one in my purse so those are kind of my powdered foundation colors but just so you guys, that's a reference for, cause I was asked the other day, um, they were trying to figure out the shade on the Hourglass Foundation and they asked what my shades were in other foundations. So I'll try to remember to do that when I'm you know, reviewing products. So this 15NC looks pretty good. I mean, I'll show you here, but then I'll also show you what it looks like in uh, natural daylight on my arm, just so you guys can get an idea. I really think this is gonna be a beautiful match on my skin. So right now I just have the concealer on and I spot concealed with my Smashbox. I do this off cam. This is my, my typical foundation routine. It's when I get the most compliments on my skin, oddly enough. My hairdresser the other day, I literally did this and she was like, your skin is so beautiful. And first of all, I almost got emotional because after my mom passed, like my skin, my hormones went crazy and I was breaking out like crazy. I was using coconut oil products that were really affecting my skin. And I had the worst breakouts of my life because I never broke out prior to 30, like never. Like I didn't even have one pimple all through high school or anything. So it was a 
it was hard for me to, to work with that in my 40s. So finally with dermatology skincare, that's the only skincare I will use. With that skincare and then being on spiral actone, that cleared up my skin and stopped using anything because I noticed I was breaking out right here. And that's where a lot of the products, like I love the Patrick Ta blushes, but they have Coke and they have Capric Caprylic Triglyceride in them. And I noticed I was breaking out like right here and that's where the Coke, and my doctor said, stop using that ingredient. So ever since I did, no more. But anyway, I use this off camera. So this is Smashbox Light Neutral Olive. This is the most fantastic foundation concealer ever made, ever made. So I don't necessarily, for natural days, I'll use it under my eye if I want everything to blend in, but for just my actual skin tone, this is just, I just use it with this and it's so smooth. But this is my Anissa foundation brush. This is the Pinnacle foundation brush. This brush is like my new Holy Grail foundation brush. It is phenomenal. You guys know I talked about the Anissa uh, contour brush. So this is the contour one, which is shaped like the contours of your face. And I talked about this in a recent video and it's like literally one of the best ways to con give a precise contour. So I ended up buying that one and then I have the concealer brush as well. I'm not even gonna attempt to find that one right now. But anyway, amazing. I will have the links below as always. They are affiliate links. Anything you decide to purchase here does help to support my channel. All right, so we're gonna try this out. We're gonna try it with a sponge first on this side and then maybe we'll do a brush on that side. So I'll show you, this is a brand new, this is just from Sheen. You get five of them for $1.50 um, sponges and we're just gonna press that in and just see what we can do here. Wow, that's nice, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so incredibly soft. Like soft, I can't even like, I wish you can jump through the screen and feel the texture of this. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> you pay more, but my goodness, this almost blows away the Makeup Forever one. And I did not think I'd ever say that. Wow, I don't even wanna mess up the Christian Louboutin soles though. So. Oh, get over it. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Ooh. I'm going to zoom you guys in here in just a second. So I pulled you guys in a little bit closer so you can see what that, that's just a very light layer. I'm not a fan of the sponge to be honest with you. I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever puff just because I like this sponge a lot more. I love my Beauty Blender one for powdered foundation but I literally can't find it anywhere. So we're gonna go with the Makeup Forever one because we always know that's a good one. This is just, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a miracle. This, this sponge is just everything. Yeah, that placed it in a lot more. This powder is incredible. Oh my gosh, you guys. Luxury meets Fantastico. Wow, that's good. Okay, yeah, that is magnifico. Wow, that's beautiful. You guys, wow. Okay, we're gonna try my Dallium Tools now that I know how to say it. This is the 957 Precision Kabuki. I find Kabukis are the best with powdered foundations. We're just going to dip that in there. This is nice and clean. And we're just going to start. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like Kabukis because like what a velour puff does is it presses it in. I just want you guys to see what it looks like with the brush. And if you want it to do it like a really soft layer, you can use like the Sonia G. This is the, uh, which one is this? Smooth, smooth Buffer. You can use this. And this one just more glides on. This is a lot softer. I actually prefer this method a little bit more than the Kabuki, I think, because I don't really need the coverage. So I like that this one just kind of buffs in the product. So actually this is my favorite way right here. That's really nice. Either that or my puff, just because the puff, if you guys don't use a puff to put your powder foundation, really try to switch to that. And more of these type of puffs rather than, you know, the triangle ones. You'll notice a difference between an Amazon cheap one or even Sheen. I mean, these are good, but you notice the difference in the quality and the texture of this. You really do. And 
This type of puff, like the circular ones that are really thick, this is 100 millimeter. And you have to remember, Makeup Forever is designed for makeup artistry. So I don't think it's poor filling, this type of powder, but I use my Charlotte Tilbury for that. So I'm not, or my Chantecaille can even be really amazing. Actually, we'll do that today because it's lighter and we don't need the coverage. We have the coverage from this powder. This is a lot like the Armani one where it's just, it's smoothing, it's soft, it's amazing. There's no scent in either one of them. Unfortunately, that one's not around anymore, but it's that same texture. So this is something that will definitely replace the Armani one for me now because the Armani one's not available anymore. But it's just so beautiful. And then what I'll do is I'll take like a powder like Chantecaille that's really thin and like undetectable, but it's more pore filling. So what I would do with that one is I would take that and just smooth out my pores with that. And that's what it's all looking like. Let me pull you guys really close. And remember, you can look at this video in 4K. So always make sure you have that 4K on so you can really, I mean, you are up close and personal, this girl. There is no hiding anything with 4K. This is definitely one I will use with my foundations. I won't even probably use my Makeup Forever one anymore. This is a perfect, a perfect smoothing powder like the Make It Forever one, but a little bit lighter than the Make It Forever. I just think it's really beautiful for mature skin. It glided on very softly, very softly. This is incredible, incredible. And you know, if you can't, if you wanna just do the refill, you can always put it like, uh, Amazon has those type of refillable pots that you can like, you can put like the air cushion ones. I'll show you one right there that I have my eye on. You can put that in there and you know, you don't have to pay the extra 75 if it doesn't mean that much to you. For me, it means a lot to me just because you guys know, like that, that is definitely my jam right there. But yeah, that's so beautiful. My skin looks flawless. All right, let's do, maybe we'll do all designer and we'll do a little bit of Gucci. I want to pick up the Christian Louboutin blush and highlight that trio right there. I need that in my life one of these days, but uh, we gotta go slow here, maybe one of these days. So this is the Gucci Eclat Soleil in shade four. I wish I would have stuck with the medium. I went with, I ended up exchanging it for this four and it's a little too, a little too much for me. So I don't use it that often because of that. It's a uh, more red tone too. So I liked the shade three a lot more. Unfortunately, it's way too late to exchange it. So because I reviewed this, you can check out my full review on this. And I have the medium one in that video. This is the newer one. Well, not new, but you know what I mean. So I am gonna use more of a natural hair brush for this because this is the Wayne Goss number two brush because it's so incredibly pigmented. So that's how the complexion looks. It is flawless in person, you guys. It is so beautiful, it is a perfect match. So if you're interested in this brand new Christian Louboutin powder, 15 NC, if you're a twinsy to me, was the perfect match. I wouldn't have gone with any other color. I want a darker one to bronze up the skin with just because I love the formula so much, but we'll just have to see how it wears. I'm gonna jump off camera, I'm gonna go film an eyeshadow look, and then I'll come back later on and just let you guys know because that'll be a good three hours by the time I'm done with that. And we'll just kind of see how it wears throughout the rest of my application of other things. And I'm gonna go have lunch, break my fast, do all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So that's how everything turned out. It is so beautiful. It just makes my skin look like porcelain skin. This is an incredible powder. It is really, really beautiful. It is worth $50 to me because I will pay 45 something for a Makeup Forever, so not much more. I'm getting a Christian Louboutin powder and the fact that it's amazing and smoothing on my mature, dry skin. You have to remember, powders are not always recommended for us ladies with mature, dry skin. It is for me when it's a good powder and it looks flawless. This is already about six hours on my face because I went and filmed two other videos. So it is beautiful. I am sweating, it is hot, and it is still 
holding on so incredibly strong. I did touch up a little bit with my Viseart Seamless Powder. This is incredible for touch-ups. Uh, beautiful, just absolutely stunning. But other than that, it is so pretty. This is such a beautiful color, probably one of the best color matches I've ever had. You can tell from that swatch, it has like this peachy yellow undertone, which I think actually suits my skin the best. It really is. It's funny, I was in Sephora a, like a few weeks ago and Courtney, hey Courtney, I think she subscribed to my channel. Her and I were talking and she's, I wanna say esthetician I, or in cosmetology school. So she's really knowledgeable about her stuff. And she was telling me, she's like, girl, you're, you're, I think you're a little more cool tone than you think you are. So, and I think what it is is because I'm of mixed ethnicity. I have Asian, I have white in me. I have a lot of different, I have Hispanic in me. I have so many different combos and my mom was more cool undertoned. So I think that's why I'm kind of mixed between, I'm very neutral in a sense where I kind of, but I, lean towards yellow undertone because that's what I've always felt like I was. But I think this peach really actually serves my skin, my real skin tone because I don't have a lot of, a lot of my, uh, sun, nah, what do you call it? Sun, tan, oh my gosh, <laughs> my self tanner, I'll, I'll get it out eventually, kind of wore off already. I need to do a fresh application, which by the way, I use the Curbapil uh, scrub, the activator and the cream. Oh my gosh, my skin never came out more beautiful. So I do recommend that. You can use my link, by the way, and get everything with a, a nice discount. But yeah, I don't have much of the tan stick on anymore. So you're really seeing the natural tones of my skin. It's slightly tan from the sun, but you know, I definitely get more pale during the winter. And I think this is gonna work for all year round, which I appreciate. So I wouldn't go with a different color than this. This is beautiful. And I can't wait to get the case to go with it because, oh my God. I'm just like so blown away by it. And I actually found this one to be really good to kind of clean up my contour. It's kind of nice. I don't want to ruin it too much because it's so pretty. And I just love the Louboutin detail on that. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little brush. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so happy, you guys. I absolutely love it. Sometimes we get excited because it's luxury, it's designer, we want it, but it's not as amazing. This is amazing. This is definitely worth it. So let's just quickly go over my ratings because I do that with all brand new products. Application is the first thing I look at and 100% of me thinks this application was absolutely flawless. It was very easy to use. I preferably like it with either my sponge when I can find my Beauty Blender one. I think that's gonna be perfect with it. And I also liked it with the Sonia G Buffer Brush. I think those are my favorite way to apply this. Coverage, I don't think this is like full coverage like my Makeup Forever one. So coverage, I'm gonna give it about 95%, but that doesn't really play into my rankings, by the way. That's just letting you guys know how much coverage you get. So I would say about 90 to 95%. I probably would lean on the 95% because I think you can build it up and it didn't get cakey looking, which is nice. And then shade range, I obviously nine shades is not a lot of shades. So shade range isn't a lot, but I think they're very flexible shades. So I do appreciate that. And I loved that this color matched perfectly. So I personally am gonna give it 100%. Long wearing, I think this is, I mean, obviously at almost six hours, it's already wearing beautifully. So 100% of me agrees with that. Ingredients, I love the fact that there was very minimal ingredients and there was no fragrance in this. So 100% of me, worth the money, absolutely at $50. Okay, yes, the case is 75, but we're just talking about the refill, the actual product itself is worth the money. I think you spend just as much on other luxury brands, not designer brands, but luxury brands, sometimes even more. So I really do believe that it is worth the $50. And I would say 100% of me would recommend this. It's just absolutely beautiful. I love the flexibility of that shade. Like I said, when I look at shade range, it's not always how many shades, it's within that shade range that they have, within those nine to 20, 40 shade range, you know, spectrum that they have, do those colors work for everybody? Because a lot of the times really dark skin girls are fine and really light skin girls are fine. But sometimes us girls with light, medium, mixed, olive, yellow undertones don't always find a good shade. And I do truly feel whether you have yellow, cool, or warm undertone, this 
particular shade would work. So I love the flexibility of that. And that's not easy to find a lot of the times. So I, especially with designer brands. So I really, really like that. It is so beautiful, you guys. It really, truly is so beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I didn't know if this was something that was on your radar. It just launched at Nordstrom, probably Bloomingdale, Saks, Neiman Marcus. They'll probably all have it wherever they sell Christian Louboutin Beauty. I will put it on the ticker right there. You can find it. But let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. Let me know your favorite designer brand. How about that? That'd be kind of a fun question to throw out there. And if you are new here before you go, please remember to hit that subscribe button. A lot of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed. So please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us. We're here every Friday and Sunday, and we just really love for you to become one of our glam sisters. We call it our glam fam. So join us. It's so much fun here. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button. And when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. It's a nice nice free way to support my channel. So make sure you hit that like button and make sure you say hello. Even if you just drop me emoji, I know Jenna, she always drops her little emojis. Sometimes she'll say something, but I just love it. It puts a smile on my face and I just really love communicating with you guys back and forth. It's such a joy to me. So thank you so much for watching and you can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok and check out my Merch Glamorous Life collections and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. Love you.